In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isPunct function in C to check if a character is a punctuation mark or not. The first thing we'll do is include the C type library where the function is defined. So we call the function like this, isPunct, and we supply this function with a character as an argument and the function is going to return true if the character is a punctuation mark and false otherwise. We'll declare a car variable C and we'll assign to C a punctuation mark. We'll have here the punctuation mark percent. Then we'll pass C to the function and if the function returns true, we'll output here percent C to output the character is a punctuation mark followed by a new line, and here we'll have C to output the character stored in C. Otherwise, we'll output here percent %C is not a punctuation mark, followed by a new line, and again we'll have C to output the character stored in C. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here percent %is a punctuation mark, because it is. In C, the following characters are considered punctuation marks. So if we pass the function one of these characters as an argument, say for example the plus character, the function is going to return true. So if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here plus is a punctuation mark. If we pass the function a character that is not one of these characters, the function is going to return false. So, for example, if we pass the function lowercase a, lowercase a is not considered a punctuation mark. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get here, lowercase a is not a punctuation mark. Now we can also pass the function a character that's part of a string. So for example, we could have here a car array s, and this car array s is going to store the string code dash 402. So each character in this string is stored at an index. For example, the uppercase C character here is stored at the index 0. The next character, lowercase o, is stored at the index 1, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. So we could pass the function, the character in the string, at the index 2. This lowercase d character here with s at the index 2. We'll also put this here and here to output this character if it is a punctuation mark or not. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here lowercase d is not a punctuation mark. But if we pass the function, the character in the string, at the index 4, that is the dash character, and that character is considered a punctuation mark. We'll change it here and here as well. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here dash is a punctuation mark. Now more accurately, if the character passed to the function is a punctuation mark, the function is going to return a non-zero integer. And in C, a non-zero integer is considered true. If the character passed to the function is not a punctuation mark, the function is going to return zero and in C, zero is considered false. So this is how we can use the isPunct function in C to check if a character is a punctuation mark or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.